In this video, we'll explore effective ways to support those struggling with poor mental health, offering practical advice and strategies. Before we jump into the details, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement helps us to reach and support more people. Mental health is a crucial aspect of our overall well-being, yet it's often misunderstood or overlooked. In today's video, we will discuss how you can be a supportive friend, family member or colleague to someone experiencing mental health difficulties. Our focus will be on understanding the signs of mental health struggles and providing appropriate support. We'll also cover the importance of listening and the power of simply being there for someone. It's not always about fixing problems, but offering a supportive presence that can make all the difference. This video aims to equip you with the knowledge and tools to help those in need effectively. Lastly, we'll talk about the significance of maintaining boundaries and taking care of your mental health while supporting others. Helping someone with their mental health challenges is commendable, but it's also vital to ensure you're looking after your well-being. Supporting someone with poor mental health isn't just about good intentions. It's about informed, thoughtful actions. Recognizing the signs that someone might be struggling is the first critical step. These can vary widely, but often include changes in behavior, mood, or how they handle daily activities and relationships. Once you've noticed these signs, the next step is to approach them with kindness and openness. It's essential to initiate conversations in a non-confrontational manner. Simple, open-ended questions like, I've noticed you've seemed a bit down lately, is there anything you want to talk about, can open the door for them to share their feelings. Listening is a skill that is often underrated, but is vital in supporting someone with mental health issues. It's important to listen without judgment and without immediately offering solutions. Sometimes, the act of listening attentively can provide immense relief to someone who is struggling. Encouraging the person to seek professional help is also crucial. While friends and family can provide significant support, professional therapists or counselors have the training to handle mental health issues more effectively. You can offer to help them find a suitable professional or even go with them to the first appointment if they're nervous. It's also beneficial to educate yourself about mental health. Understanding various conditions, their symptoms, and the general do's and don'ts in mental health support can make you a more effective helper. There are many resources online and offline that can enhance your knowledge and understanding. Maintaining regular contact with the person can make a big difference. Regular check-ins can show them that you care and are there for them. However, these should be balanced so as not to feel overwhelming or invasive to their personal space. During your interactions, it's important to foster a positive environment, but also to be realistic. Avoid dismissive positivity, which tends to undermine their feelings. Phrases like just cheer up or others have it worse are not helpful and can actually make the person feel worse. Supporting someone with mental health issues can also involve helping them with regular daily tasks. When someone is struggling with mental health, even small tasks can seem daunting. Offering help with everyday chores or errands can relieve some of their stress. It's important to be patient and not expect quick fixes. Mental health recovery can be a slow process and it varies greatly from one person to another. Showing continued support throughout their journey is more valuable than sporadic bursts of attention. Remember, the goal isn't to cure their mental health issues, but to support them in managing their mental health. This distinction is crucial and helps in setting realistic expectations for both you and the person you are supporting. Lastly, while supporting someone, don't forget to take care of your own mental health. Supporting someone through such challenges can be draining. Ensure you have your support system and engage in activities that replenish your mental energy. Here are some steps to consider when looking to help someone with poor mental health. The first step is to ensure you have the person's trust. Building a relationship based on trust can make them feel more comfortable sharing their thoughts and feelings. This foundation is crucial for effective support. 
Next, educate yourself about the specific nature of their mental health condition. Different conditions have different symptoms and need different types of support. Being informed can prevent misunderstandings and provide better, targeted help. It's important to encourage the individual to engage in activities that promote mental wellness. This could be exercise, hobbies or social events that can help improve their mood and reduce feelings of isolation. Setting small, achievable goals can be a great way to help someone manage their mental health. This can give them a sense of accomplishment and a way to track their progress. Ensure these goals are agreed upon by both of you to maintain their motivation. Another crucial step is to help them create a support network. This might involve introducing them to support groups or encouraging them to share their feelings with friends or family who can offer additional support. It's also helpful to be aware of and suggest coping mechanisms that can aid in managing symptoms. This might include mindfulness techniques, journaling or structured routines. Different strategies work for different strategies work for different people, so it might take some experimenting to find the right fit. Maintaining communication is key. Regular check. INS can show that you care and are committed to supporting them. However, make sure these are not too intrusive and respect their need for space. Finally, always encourage professional help. While support from friends or family is valuable, professional help is often necessary for managing mental health effectively. Support their decisions about taking therapy or counselling. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to how to help someone with poor mental health. In Manchester, Sarah noticed that her colleague Tom seemed increasingly withdrawn and less communicative. Recognizing these as potential signs of depression, she first ensured to approach him privately, expressing her concerns in a non-judgmental way and offering her support. After several conversations, Tom opened up about his struggles with mental health. Sarah encouraged Tom to seek professional advice while also offering to accompany him to his GP. Knowing the importance of a support network, she coordinated with their other colleagues to create a more inclusive and supportive work environment. This involved organizing team activities that were not only work-related but also social, helping Tom feel more connected and supported. Over time, with the right professional help and a supportive network, Tom started to show improvements in his mental health. If you are looking to help someone with poor mental health, remember to approach them with compassion and understanding. Start by creating a safe space for them to express their feelings without fear of judgment. Encourage them to seek professional help and assure them of your support throughout their journey. Also remember that your well-being is also important. Supporting someone with mental health issues can be challenging, so ensure you are also taking care of yourself. Engage in activities that you enjoy and seek support if you feel overwhelmed. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support really helps us bring more helpful content to you and others. We really appreciate it.